What's happening guys? Welcome back to Duty's Daggers and we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, I wanted to show off some uh, antique tape measures that I recently bought. Um, I think they're kind of related to EDC stuff. Um, I certainly am going to start carrying these uh, as part of my EDC, uh, especially at work, because I use tape measures a lot and um, I like old things. So we're going to do this out by this old tractor here. I figured it was a good spot. So I was recently at a, um, an antique store and I found these two uh, antique watches, or watches, <laughs> tape measures. Um, and I immediately fell in love. Um, you know, I, I've always liked uh, old antique things with a patina and, um, you know, obviously knives, especially uh, old slip joints. Uh, is my most recent kind of uh, antique obsession. And now it's tape measures. I actually already ordered a couple more on uh, eBay. I found a couple of really nice ones. Um, they're just really cool, man. Like, they're so uh, compact and, you know, just really well made. You know, we don't get things well made like this very much anymore. Um, the tape measure I usually buy is a Stanley 12 foot. A um, little bit bigger than this, but I really like it. Um, but they break, man. I think I've gone through in my whole welding career probably six or seven of those things. Um, they just break, man. The, the tape itself uh, kinks and breaks or you just drop it and it just falls apart. It's just, it's crazy, man. And these have been around for so much longer and they're still, this one particularly, is still per almost perfect, man. I mean, still very readable um and uh so this one is um i think i don't know if the, the brand is chief or if it's a uh, carson and sullivan um but look at this texture on the back here man this cross-hatched texture it's so cool and it's on the front eight foot number 228 carlson the tape itself is kind of a, a gray color, kind of shiny. Um, the end here is actually uh, can swing up up this way. I'm trying to think of a good application for that. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really come across a, a reason to have that, but it does. It even says on there. It says um, swivel tip or swing tip. Um, so who knows. Um, it, you know, it, it retracts still, but it's not like, you know, you kind of got to help it a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just, I love the logo. I love this cross-hatched texture. Uh, the finish almost looks like brushed. And, um, yeah, I just, I really like it. This is the one I've been carrying at work and using a lot. It's just, it's small enough to fit right in your fifth pocket. And it's just so easy just to go grab it and do some quick measurement. You know, in uh, in fabrication, with is what I do. I'm doing a lot of measurements that are like three foot or less. Often like one foot or less. So I don't need a big fat tape measure most of the time. This is all the tape measure I really need. It's eight feet. Uh, this next one uh, looks a little older or maybe just not as well taken care of. Uh, Wild Skull is the brand made in the USA. Both these are made in the USA, obviously. Uh, this is a six foot instead of an eight foot. And it's got a little bit more patina on it. Looks different, different style. And check this out. This is kind of a ratcheting one. Push the button, <laughs> it shoots back in, man. How cool is that? Now this one is not as usable. Unfortunately, the tip itself, um, has been patinaed uh, past the point of really being able to read. Uh, I tried taking uh, some steel wool gently to this, but it wasn't really taking off the the, uh, the patina. It was taking off the letters too, or the numbers. Um, so I stopped, and uh, it'll just be more of a collector's thing, not really usable. Um, but I would love to find another one of these that's uh, maybe in a little better condition, so I can use it. Um, because that's so cool, man. It ratchets out. I don't want to let it slam too hard, but 
yeah look at that man just push this button in the center and that re, uh, retracts it you know they make retractable uh, tape measures nowadays but they're usually not very good quality they always break this one's been around for so long and it's still working perfectly man like what the hell <laughs> why are we making things so shitty nowadays um, I mean I, I think I know the reason it's so that you have to buy a new one you know it's all about money uh, but back in these days they made things that actually lasted because um, they had a uh, I don't know I guess more honor so yeah um, definitely EDC related if you have a job where you measure things a lot um, a, a tape measure this size is really nice to have you know, I, I really don't like walking around with like a, a big old thing clipped onto my uh, my pocket or my belt. Uh, this is this is cool. Part of my EDC now. Um, it goes well with uh, you know like an old slip joint. You know, kind of a uh, you know just old school style stuff, which is uh, which I really like. Here's my GEC um, 72 Plainsman. See, that's a good combo right there. That's a sweet combo. So anyway, that's it, folks. Just want to show off my tape measures. <laughs> when I uh, when I get my uh, other ones, I'll show you those too, if you're interested, if anyone's interested. And uh, yeah, I have a new hobby, collecting antique tape measures. <laughs> All right, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. See you soon.